Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And the topic is a renal biopsy or kidney biopsy, you know. So renal means kidney, you know. But before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com, you know. Uh, now I come to the topic, what is a renal biopsy, you know. You know, the renal biopsy is a procedure uh, which is used to extract the kidney tissue for the lab analysis, you know. And uh, the word renal describes the kidney, you know, as I said earlier. And the renal biopsy is also called as kidney biopsy. So this is the alternative name, you know. And this, the purpose of this test is that it helps uh, your doctor to identify the type of the kidney disease you have, how severe is it, and the best treatment option for it, you know. So it's a very important test, you know. And uh, the renal biopsy can also be used to monitor the effectiveness of the kidney treatments, okay, and see if there are any complications uh, followed by the kidney transplant, you know. And there are two different ways to perform the renal biopsy. The most common type is uh, the renal biopsy is the, called the precautionous biopsy, you know, or the renal needle biopsy. And for this procedure, your doctor inserts a thin biopsy needle through the skin to remove a piece of, uh, small piece from the kidney tissue, you know. And this may use uh, an ultrasound or maybe CT scan uh, to uh, guide the needle to a specific area of the kidney, you know. So, uh, it's known as maybe ultrasound guided or maybe the um, CT scan guided uh, needle biopsy, you know. And the other one is an open biopsy, you know, so which means a surgical biopsy, it's an alternative name, you know. And your doctor makes a cut in the skin near the kidney and this allows the physician to look into the kidney and determine from which area uh, the tissue sample should be taken, you know. And uh, it's an invasive procedure. The first one is invasive but it's very small, I mean, uh, it's not as invasive as compared to the open uh, surgical biopsy you know. and uh, you know the question is what is the purpose well the purpose of the renal biopsy uh, is to identify what is interfering with your uh, like uh, normal kidney function you know and the head the individuals have the two kidneys that perform many functions and uh, it is the kidneys uh, job to like remove the urea and other waste products from the blood you know it, they work as a filter, you know, and uh, maintain a balance of chemicals such as the sodium and potassium in the blood, you know, electrolytes balance, you know, and supply the hormones known as the erythro uh, protein, you know, which supports the red blood cell growth, you know. It controls the blood pressure and uh, it helps to activate the hormone known as the calcitriol, you know. And its function is that it regulates the calcium absorption and the calcium blood levels, you know. So it's, uh, the kidneys have the very vital functions, you know. And if your routine blood and the urine tests indicate that your kidneys are not working well, uh, your doctor may decide to perform the renal biopsy. And uh, the doctor might also order in case where uh, he find the reason for an abnormal level of the waste products in the blood you know or uh, see the kidney tumor is malignant or if, uh, if he sees that kidney tumor in the ultrasound but he wants to uh, know whether it's malignant or whether it's cancerous you know or uh, uh, like to know how well the transplanted kidney is working you know uh, to determine the cause of protein urea or high levels of protein in the urine you know and create a treatment plan for the diseased kidney and see the severity of the progressive kidney failure and how quickly the kidney is failing you know so in that case uh, in all these cases you know doctor will uh, order the renal biopsy you know and it's a very important uh, test which helps the doctor to uh, plan the proper treatment for you know, that particular patient you know. The next thing is the procedure. Well, how do doctors perform this one? You know? The renal biopsy usually is performed 
as an outpatient uh, procedure at a hospital, you know. But it can also be done maybe in a radiology department if an ultrasound CT scan or ultrasound guided CT, uh, or CT scan guided uh, uh, biopsy is needed, you know. And a precautionary biopsy is the most common type of the biopsy where a doctor will insert a needle uh, and uh, it will take a piece from the kidney, you know, and it will be ultrasound guided anyhow. And the other one is the open biopsy, you know, open surgical biopsy where the and doctor will uh, cut the skin, you know, in CM and uh, then he will take out a piece from the kidney, you know. And that will be sent to the lab for the further analysis by the pathologist, you know. And uh, typically precautions or the renal needle biopsy is done by the doctor and it takes about uh, an hour, you know. And just before the procedure, you will uh, change into the hospital gown. You will sign the consent form, you know. You will be given a little bit of sedation, you know. And uh, uh, through the intravenous, you know. And uh, the purpose of the sedation is that it will help you to relax, you know. Or you will be awake anyhow. And you will not receive any general anesthesia. And meaning that you will be awake throughout the procedure. And you will be positioned so that... Uh, you are lying on your stomach, you know, because kidneys are on the back side, you know, so uh, this will help the kidneys to easily access from the back, you know, and you will be given a pillow or maybe towel, you know, since you are, you will have the remain, remain still and uh, stay calm, you know, about for 30 minutes, you know, and if you have already had a kidney transplant, you know, then you will be told to lie on your back. Okay, and uh, then your doctor will inject the local anesthetic into the uh, entry site to numb that area uh, and make a small incision there, you know. And uh, uh, they will insert a needle through that incision uh, into the kidney, which will be ultrasound or CT scan guided. So, doctor, doctor, do any mistake, you know. So he will take the piece from the specific point, you know, of the kidney. And uh, you will have to take a deep breath or hold your breath uh, while your physician takes the tissue sample, you know. So this may take about, hold your breath for maybe 30 to 40 seconds, you know, or maybe less, you know. And you may feel some discomfort when the tissue sample is being extracted, you know, a little bit pain, a little discomfort, you know. And uh, if more than one tissue sample is needed, the process will be repeated several times, you know. And each time, I mean, when Dr. Lodge asks you to hold the breath, you know. So, uh, so, you will have to hold your breath for multiple times in that case, you know. And the next thing is, what are the types of the precautionary biopsies, you know? Well, there are actually two types. And the type of the procedure your doctor users will determine the instrument required to remove the tissue, you know. And if the fine needle aspiration biopsy, your doctor extracts a small tissue sample from your kidney using a small thin needle that is attached to a syringe, you know. And for the larger tissue samples, your physician may uh, need like needle core biopsy known as, you know. And uh, in this procedure, your doctor removes the larger sample of the kidney and tissue using a syringe uh, look like loaded needle, you know, and uh, if you're having a needle core biopsy, you will uh, hear a loud clicking or the popping sound, uh, like uh, when the tissue sample is being removed, you know, and after the sample is retrieved, uh, the pressure will be applied uh, to the biopsy site until any bleeding has stopped, you know, and then the bandage will be applied over the seal site to stop the bleeding. And uh, the other ones are the open biopsies, like open surgical biopsies, where doctor will perform uh, by the incision, you know. And uh, so there will be incision involved, you know. And depending on your physical condition and the medical history, you know, the doctor may recommend the open biopsy. So which means that you will have this type of biopsy if you have had problems with the bleeding or like uh, 
a blood clotting in the past you know, or if you have uh, only one kidney you know. and if you're having any open biopsy you will receive the general anesthesia this means that your doctor will uh, put you on sleep uh, you will not feel anything throughout the procedure then your doctor will make an incision and surgically remove the tissue uh, from the kidneys while you are unconscious uh, it's an invasive procedure and some surgical biopsy require an, uh, an incision up to five inches long you know. and this procedure can also be performed uh, uh, laparoscopically you know so this procedure is when your doctor makes a small incision and use a laparoscope you know and he will make multiple incisions to uh, enter the different kind of the, uh, tubes you know uh, to take the biopsy you know and there's be lights and the cameras on the tube you know and the lacro la this laparoscope uh, has a video camera at the end you know so which uh, sends the images of the kidneys to a video monitor you know so your doctor will be monitoring the, those images on the video and uh, uh, using a laparoscope your physician can observe the kidney more closely and it can have a large piece of the tissue uh, through a smaller incision you know. the next thing is uh, recovery you know so after your renal biopsy you will need the time to recovery or maybe you will stay for some time in the observation room you know before you are released from the hospital and the timing of your release will vary depending on the procedure or the type of the biopsy, you know, and your doctor's practices and the reaction to any procedures, you know. And generally, you will uh, be taken to the recovery room for rest and observation, and during that time, you will lie on your back, you know, uh, or maybe on your stomach if you have uh, had a kidney transplant, you know, uh, about six to eight hours. And a nurse or a doctor will keep track of your vital sign like blood pressure, heart rate, breathing rate, uh, and uh, temperature and pulse, etc. You know, and uh, the complete blood count test and the urine test will be done to see if there is uh, any internal bleeding, you know, or any other problem, you know. And uh, you will be given the medication to reduce the pain at the biopsy site and to relax, you know. And your vital signs, once your vital signs are stable, uh, you will be released from the hospital to go home. Uh, if this was a needle biopsy, you know, but if there was a, any surgical biopsy, then you may have to stay in the hospital. You know? But again, it depends on the type of the uh, biopsy. You know? And typically, you can go back to eating your normal diet when you feel hungry. And your doctor may ask you to rest in bed for maybe a day or two you know and you should stay away from the exercises like uh, aggressive exercise or aerobic exercise you know for some time you know well the inner biopsy can provide a valuable information that allows your doctor to diagnose the kidney abnormalities and decides the appropriate treatment you know so this is a very useful test you know and uh, developing an infection after the procedure is a serious risk uh, and this rarely occurs and always uh, uh, be on the lookout for the symptoms of infections like fever or maybe chills or maybe any uh, like pain you know and contact your doctor if you, you have uh, bright or red blood clots you know in the urine uh, cannot urinate have the fever or chills or uh, feel weak or like uh, near fainting you know so in that case, you should consult your doctor, you know, straight away, don't waste the time. And uh, now the next thing is about, uh, uh, like, uh, results, you know. Well, the tissue sample will be sent to the lab for the analysis and the pathologist will uh, look in detail, you know. And uh, he will diagnose L. And he will examine the tissue, you know, and he will send the report to your doctor, you know. And uh, uh, if the kidney tissue shows any kind of uh, normal structures that is free of uh, deposits and other defects, you know, 
the results are considered normal. You know. Uh, but the results of the uh, biopsy are considered abnormal if there are changes in the kidney tissue. Uh, there are numerous causes that can result, you know, uh, the abnormal, you know, and uh, the, sometimes the diseases that uh, begin in other parts of the body can uh, cause the damage to the kidneys, you know. And if your results uh, were abnormal, uh, they could indicate whether the infection in the kidneys, maybe the connective tissue diseases, or maybe the restrictions or the weaknesses in the flow of the blood in the kidneys, kidney cancers, complicated unit tract infections, rejection of the kidney transplant, and maybe the numerous and other diseases which have the negative effect on your kidney function. You know. And your doctor may decide to, to order the additional tests uh, to make the treatment plan. You know. But this will go over your results and uh, your condition in depth. Okay, so Dr. Doctor will talk to you in detail about the outcome of the results, you know, and then he will plan the future treatments, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.